Welcome to Arts 8 Week 1. Here's our most essential learning competencies. This week's learning objectives are the following. Before we start our pretest, here's our score descriptions. 5 is excellent, 4 is very good, 3 is good, 2 is study hard, and if you got 1, you need to read the lesson again. Let's start. Direction. Identify the term being described. Write the letter that corresponds to your answer on your notebook. You have 5 seconds to answer each item. Let's begin. Number one, the pecking opera costume is called blank. A. Balinese costumes, B. Kimono Obi, C. Saya and Barong Tagalog, or D. Sintiao. You have five seconds. Time is up. The answer is, that is letter D, Xintao. Let's have number two. Ready? Number two. The performance element that includes both acrobatics and fighting with all manners of weaponry in Peking Opera is blank. A. Combat B. Dance Acting C. Speech or D. Song You have 5 seconds. Time is up. The answer is... That is correct. That is A. Combat. Ready for our next item? Number 3. Blank is the main male role in Peking Opera. A. Dan, B. Chao, C. Jing, or D. Sheng. You have 5 seconds. Time is up, and the answer is... You got it right. That is D. Sheng. Ready for number 4? Let's have number 4. Red color on makeup in pegging opera means blank. Is it A. Suspicious and craftiness, B. Roughness and fierceness, C. Courage, Bravery, and Uprightness Or D. Fierceness, Ambition, and Cool-Headedness You have 5 seconds. Let's have number 3. Celebrated by Hindus in India and also known as the Festival of Lights. You have 5 seconds. Time is up. And your answer is? That is correct. That is Diwali. Ready for our next item? Let's have number 4. Small piece of desert crafted from dried camel skin. You have 5 seconds.
Time is up, and your answer is? That is correct, that is candle lamp. Ready for our last item? Let's have number five. Made of wood with a shallow part covered in lead and decorated with brass. You have five seconds. Time is up, and your answer is? That is correct, that is incense burner. How much score did you get? And whatever score you got, as long as you were able to remember what we have discussed in our past lesson, and that is fine. Now let's learn more about the arts of Asia. Let's discuss Peking Opera of China. China is well known in Peking Opera. It is also called Beijing Opera. Combines music, vocal performance, pantomime, dance, and acrobatics. Here are the different roles and characters in Peking Opera. The main male role is called Shen, while the female roles are called Dan. Jing is a male role who is either the primary or the secondary character. It entails a forceful character, which means actors must have strong voice and able to exaggerate gestures. And our last character is Xiao, which means ugly. This is also for male roles, who acts as secondary character. We believe that clown's combination of ugliness and laughter could drive away evil spirits. Those are the roles and characters of Peking Opera. Now let's have visual performance elements of Peking Opera. They have songs, they have speech, they also have dance acting, which includes pure dance, pantomime, and all other types of dance. And also combat, which includes both acrobatics and fighting with all manner of weaponry. Those are the visual performance elements of Peking Opera. Now let's have meaning of the colors used in mask and makeup in the opera. First is white. White means dangerousness, suspiciousness, and craftiness. While black means roughness and fierceness. They also have yellow paint, which means fierceness, ambition, and cool-headedness. While for blue, it means loyalty, fierceness, and sharpness. They also have reddish purple, which means just and noble character. While for purple, it means uprightness, sophistication, and cool-headedness. They also have red, which means devotion, courage, bravery, uprightness, and loyalty. While green means impulsive, violent, and stubbornness. And lastly, Xiao Haogen, the petty painted face. It is a small patch of chalk on and around the nose. These are used by clowns in traditional drama, which can be mean and secretive character. Those are the meaning of colors used in mask and makeup in Tekken Opera. Now let's have costumes and props. With their costumes, they usually wear Xing Chao or Shifu, which can be seen in Chinese origins of Peking Opera. They also use oblong wings and Shizi, which are attached to a gauze hat indicate a loyal official, while in contrast a corrupt official is made to wear a gauze with a embroidered wing. With their props, they usually utilize very few props. The most common are tables and chairs, which can be turned through convention into such diverse objects as a city wall, a mountain, or a bed. A whip is used to indicate a horse, and an oar symbolizes a boat. Those are the costumes and props in Peking Opera. Now let's have aesthetic aims and principal movements. The highest aim of performances is to put beauty into very motion. The art form, gestures, settings, music, and character types are determined by long-held conventions. Further conventions of movement include the following. Walking in a large circle means traveling a long distance. Shredding costume and headdress means an important character is about to speak. And pantomimic is the opening and closing of doors and mounting and descending stairs. Those are the aesthetic aims and principal movements in Peking Opera. Now we're done with our discussion, let's have our activity. With our activity, you have to make your own mask. Direction. Design your own mask using the colors in mask and makeup in Peking Opera. Use the mask frame as your guide. Once done, write at the space provided a short explanation of your design. For the grading, use this rubric. The highest score that you can get from this activity is 15 points. 5 points if you follow the direction correctly, another 5 points if the output is very creative and tidy, and another 5 points if the colors of mask and makeup in Korean opera is well defined and used from beginning to the end. Please do this at the end of the video. Take note, once done, put your finished output to your portfolio. Our next activity is wrap up. Direction. Answer the following questions. Write your answer on one whole sheet of paper. Our first question is, give the meaning of each color in Peking Opera mask and makeup. Here are the colors that you need to give meaning. Red, 
black, yellow, purple, reddish purple, blue, white, and green. Our second question is, identify each roles and characters played in Peking Opera. Here are the different roles and characters. Sheng, Dan, Chao, and Jing. Please do this at the end of the video. Our next activity is valuing. Direction. Answer the question below. Write your answer on a one whole sheet of paper. Here's the question. Name at least one visual performance element and how would you apply it in your daily life? Please do this at the end of the video. For our last activity, post this. Look for the 10 words that are connected to Peking Opera. Write your answer on your notebook. You have 60 seconds to answer. Here's our crossword puzzle. Ready? You have 60 seconds. Go! Five seconds. Time is up. Are you ready with your answers? Here are the 10 words. First is Shang. Second is Jing. Our third word is Backing Opera. Next word is Speech. Next is Xingtao. Next is yellow. Another word is shao. Next word is song. Next is blue. And our last word is dan. How much score did you get? Did you get 10, 8, or 5? Now whatever score you got, as long as you were able to learn from this module, and that is fine. That is all we got for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you, and have a good day. Bye!
Hi learners, welcome to Arts 8 Module 2, Festival and Theater Arts of Japan, Taiko Drum Festival and Kabuki Theater. Most essential learning competencies. Learning outcomes. For the pretest, identification. Read the question carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer on your worksheet. You have given 5 seconds to answer. Number 1. It is the Japanese traditional drama. Here are the choices. You have 5 seconds. Time is up. The answer is letter A. Number 2. A Japanese terminology which means male roles in kabuki theater. Here are the choices. You have 5 seconds. Time is up. The answer is letter A. Number 3. It is the Japanese Drum Festival. Here are the choices. You have 5 seconds. Time is up. The answer is letter C. Number 4. A platform that raises the performers from below the stage in Kabuki Theater. Here are the choices. You have 5 seconds. Time is up. The answer is letter D. Number 5. A Japanese terminology kodo means, here are the choices. You have 5 seconds. Time is up. The answer is letter B. For the recap, direction, write true if the statement is correct and false if the statement is incorrect. Write your answer on your worksheet. You have given 5 seconds to answer. Number 1. The Peking Opera costume is called Barong Tagalog in Saya. You have 5 seconds. Time is up. The answer is false. Number 2. Sheng is the main male role in Peking Opera. You have 5 seconds. Time is up. The answer is true. Number 3. Red color on makeup in Peking Opera means courage, bravery, and loyalty. You have 5 seconds. Time is up. The answer is true. Number 4. Peking Opera is a traditional theater art form of Japan. You have 5 seconds. Time is up. The answer is false. Number 5. Wuxing is a martial character for roles involving combat. You have 5 seconds. Time is up. The answer is true. How many score did you get? A perfect score? 4 out of 5? Or 3 out of 5? Congratulations! Let's start the lesson. Festivals and Theater Arts of Japan, Taiko Drum Festival and Kabuki Theater. Lesson 1. Taiko Drums Festival History. Drums were used in ancient times to signify the boundaries of a village. Peasant events such as the rice harvest or dance festivals were celebrated with drums. 
Drums were used to pray for rain and other religious ceremonies. Drums lead warriors into battles in order to scare off the enemy. An example of a professional taiko drumming troupe is the Kodo. Here is the scene in Kodo Taiko Drum Festival. Kodo conveys two meanings. Number one, heartbeat, the primal source of all rhythm and read in a different way. Number two, children of the drum, a reflection of Kodo's desire to play their drum simply with the heart of a child. The main focus of the performance includes the following. Number one, Ashai, the taiko drummer. Number two, different drums. Number three, fu and shamisen, traditional Japanese musical instrument. Number four, traditional dance and vocal performance. Number five, include pieces based on the traditional rhythms of regional Japan. And number six, performances normally last for about one hour and 40 minutes. Costume and props, happy. Coats over black with white calligraphy, a baggy sleeve short cotton jacket tied with a sash or ubi around the waist, hakimaki, white headband, tabi, shoes with big toe separated, odaiko, big drum, hosuki, medium drum, chime, small drum. Kabuki Theater is a form of traditional Japanese drama with highly stylized song, mime, and dance now performed only by male actors. It is known for the stylization of each drama and for the elaborate makeup worn by some of its performers. It's believed to derive from the verb kabuko, meaning to lean or to be out of ordinary kabuki can be bizarre theater. Example scene of kabuki theater. The Kabuki Stage, Hanamichi, a flower path, a walkway which extends into Ojen's Bayao, which dramatic entrances and exits are made. Kogakudo, Kabuki theaters that have stages both in front of the Ojen's and along the sides help create a bond between the actors and viewers. Awaru Butal, the interior of the theater contains a revolving stage. Supon, a flat form that rises from below the stage. Hanamichu, a walkway that cuts through the audience setting area to connect the stage with the back of the theater. This is the Kabuki stage. The three main categories of the Kabuki play. Number one, Jedi Mono or History Plays were set within the context of major events in Japanese history. Number two, Siwa Mono focused primarily upon commoners or townspeople and peasants. And number three, Chusagoto dance pieces. Elements of Kabuki. Me, actor holds a picture skew pose to establish his character and his house name, Yago. Yago, sometimes heard in a loud shout. Kakigu, an expert audience member serving both to express and enhance the audience's appreciation of the actor's achievement. Kesho, the name of the actor's father. Elements of Kabuki Actors are separated into two main categories. One, Onagata, refer to the female roles. Number two, Aragoto, refer to the male roles. They are the Kabuki hero characters, the Onagata and the Aragoto.
Kabuki makeup. Makeup is also one of the most iconic parts of kabuki. Actors apply their own makeup by painting their faces and necks white, then adding stylized lines in red, black, or blue. The colors and lines that are used tells what kind of character is being performed. Red and blue are usually aragoto roles. Onagata, playing young women, have very little paint. The Kabuki Makeup The color of the humadori is an expression of the character's nature. Red lines, used to indicate passion, heroism, righteousness, and other positive traits. Pink, for youthful joy. Light blue, for an event temper. Pale green, for peacefulness. Blue or black, for billionly jealousy and other negative traits. Green, for the supernatural. Purple, for nobility. Kabuki occupies five acts. Number one, Joan. Auspicious and slow opening which introduces the audience to the characters and the plot. Ha, speeding events up. Number three, culminating almost always in a great moment of drama or tragedy. Number four, battle in the fourth acts. Number five, Kyo, is almost always short, providing a quick and satisfying conclusion. Kabuki props. Number one, flowing water, is usually represented by fluttering rolls of linen or creatures like insects and foxes. Number two, Fans are used to symbolize wind, a sword, a tobacco pipe, waves, or food. Kabuki Costumes Number 1. Black Hooded Robeso They are invisible to the audience. Number 2. Kimono and Ubi The female characters generally wear this elaborate costume. And number 3. Pleated Hakuma trousers are worn by characters of sexes. For the activities, Activity 1. Describe the pictures. Direction. Identify the elements and principles of arts manifested in Taiko Drum Festival and Kabuki Theater. Write your answer on your worksheet. Number 1. Kabuki Hero Character. Kabuki Stage. Kabuki Makeup. Taiko Drum Festival Activity 2 Dress Me Up Procedure Number 1 Create a simple design on the Kabuki Hero's character in the box Number 2 Add color to your Kabuki Hero's character to make it artistic and beautiful And number 3 Indicate your name, section, and name of the activity on the lower part of the band paper Ask your parents to sign on the lower part of your artwork. Materials Pencil, coloring materials, band paper, or Oslo paper. The sample worksheet. For the wrap up, direction Give at least one significant lesson learned from Taiko Drum Festival and Kabuki Theater. Write your answer on the space provided. For the valuing, direction, answer the given question below. Write your answer on your worksheet. Why do you think Taiko Drum Festival and Kabuki Theater are still popular in Japan in spite of the modern technology and social media nowadays? For the post test, direction, read the question carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer on your worksheet. You have given 5 seconds to answer each question. Number 1. What is the color of Komodori that indicates peacefulness? Here are the choices. The answer is letter B. Number 2. Kabuki costume wear by the female character. Here are the choices.
The answer is letter C. Number 3. Taiko drum festivals usually last for how many hours? Here are the choices. The answer is letter A. Number 4. It is a form of traditional Japanese drama with highly stylized song, mime and dance now performed only by male actors. Here are the choices. The answer is letter A. Number 5. Taiko drum festival props that is a big drum. Here are the choices. The answer is letter C. Good luck and God bless. Welcome to Arts 8 Week 3. Here's our most essential learning competition.
actress Thai Lan. Thai Lan is very famous with Nang Shadow Puppets. Nang Shadow Puppets was once a form of public entertainment in south of Thailand. It is usually performed during the country's dry season. Its characters are made from intricately shapes of leather. They are manipulated with rods that controls movements of the arms and legs. With its performance, the puppet shows a religious theme or have episode from Ramayana Epic which contains dozens of individual characters. Mr. Shokrat Sapsin is expert in craft of making the puppets, an award-winning writer and poet, and also narrates, speaks, and sings all parts using different voices. Nalina are the teachers and presenters of Nang Talu. There are over 300 Nainang in the southern regions of Thailand. The Nanginese producers are highly respected and greatly entwined into Thailand's cultural fibers. That is the performance of Nang Shadow Puppets. There are two types of Nang Shadow Puppets. First is Talung. It is made with leather and its characters are separated. It has movable jointed arms and its measurement is 50 cm high. With Nang Yai, it is made of kauhi and it doesn't have jointed arms. It may have decorated scenes and its measure is 2 meters high. Those are the two types of Nang Shadow Puppets. Now let's have Indonesia. Indonesia is well known with Wayang Kulit. It consists of shadow cast on a cotton screen and oil lamp. In Java, a halogen electric light is most often used as a light source. The stories of Wayang Kulit are usually drawn from a Hindu epics, Ramayana and Mahabharata. The puppeteer or the master of puppets in Wayang Kulit is